Bring your palms together. Inhale deeply. Ad Gure Namen, Jugad Gure Namen, Sat Gure Namen, Sri Guru Deve Namen. Ad Gure Namen, Jugad Gure Namen, Sat Gure Namen, Sri Guru Deve Namen. Ad Gure Namen, Jugad Gure Namen, Sat Gure Namen, Sri Guru Deve Namen. We're going to do uh, some movement, a little bit of, uh, this is a nine minute Kriya that it helps you to confront the fear portion of the brain, the reptilian brain. Everybody's in this constant state of doubt right now with when our border is going to open. Am I going to get sick? Am I going to have COVID? Are my friends going to have whatever, whatever. This can really help to allow your brain to function properly, allow the hormones to secrete properly so that you don't live in that constant state of fear. Um, and it's short, fast, feels good. Please set yourself in a posture to meditate. The first posture, you're going to lock the thumb down on the mercury mound like this, and you're gonna bring these two fingers down on top of it. It's like an inverted Christ Kriya interlock. And you're gonna put your fingers, not touching, but close, arms parallel, palms facing the ground. You're gonna look at the tip of the nose and the breath pattern is you're gonna inhale through the mouth, through an O mouth. And when you exhale through the nose powerfully, you let arms, it kind of goes straight out like that, but out to your sides, maybe you can see them out to your side, just like that, but pointing straight, okay? Inhale, exhale, okay? And you're just gonna do it as powerfully as you can, eyes at the tip of the nose. You should, you, your breath on the exhale through the nose should have enough force that there's a vibration in the brain. You're actually waking up the brain, increasing, oxy increasing oxygen, blood flow, everything. So please begin. Inhale through the mouth, O mouth, exhale through the nose, eyes at the tip of the nose. Remember to breathe powerfully, exhale powerfully. Let your consciousness allow to follow the brain and feel the sensation in the back of the head.
Inhale deeply through the nose. Hold the breath. Lock your molars in the back of your mouth really tight and squeeze your whole body. Powerfully exhale out. <clears throat> Inhale all the way again. Fill your lungs through the nose. Hold the breath, lock the molars and squeeze every inch of your body. Powerful exhale out. Last time, inhale deeply. Hold the breath tight. Lock the molars and squeeze your body, every fiber. Exhale and relax for just a minute. Next exercise, you're going to do Christ Kriya interlock with the fingers down first, the thumb over it. They're going to be out at your side like this, and you're going to make circles going out. Okay? They're fast like this, and the breathing is a powerful, rapid inhale, exhale through an O mouth. Eyes at the tip of the nose, okay? Remember, we're not doing two and a half hours of this, so try and apply yourself. The breath is extremely cleansing, but make it powerful. It's like, it says you'll make a whoo sound like a chimpanzee or something, but do it with your breath, not with your vocal cords. And powerful breath and fast movement. You should feel a vibration in the base of your spine from your arm movements. Begin. <laughs> Keep breathing powerfully, keep the movement rapid, fast. Should shake your whole system just from this rotation. Keep up, shake, rotate, breathe, powerful.
Inhale deeply, hold the breath and keep shaking. And hold tight, lock every fiber. Cannon fire out. Inhale deeply again, hold it and shake. Exhale. Last time, inhale tight, deep, hold it, and shake. Get all the cells in your body to be renewed. Exhale. Great. Love. I love it when the Kriyas get you a little out-of-body experience too, it's so nice. Last one, same mudra, but this time the posture is arms straight out. And the important thing here is the hands are up, but you rotate the elbows as far as you can go so that it creates a pressure on your chest and your shoulder blades in your back. And it should lift the diaphragm from the pressure of rotating your arms back. You're gonna lock into this posture. Remember, it's not long. And it's just long, deep breathing with the eyes at the tip of the nose and meditate. Roll those elbows, shoulders, wrists, all the way as far out and back as they can go with your arms perfectly straight out at your sides. Just three minutes, not a big deal. But the results are fantastic. Feel pain in the elbows, it means it's healing your system. Feel pressure on the back of your head. The blood flow and circulation should be increasing to the reptilian part of the brain, helping you rejuvenate that part that it can function properly to serve you instead of own you or dominate you. Long, deep breathing. Just allow your body to lock in. Let your breath be your meditation. Let your posture hold. Don't worry about a thing. It's doing all the work for you. You're more than halfway there, so just keep up. Keep up against your give up. That's the formula. Keep up isn't just some lofty idea, it's an active meditation, confronting your own mind, your own, what they call alsi, your own laziness, your own tendency to comfort, your own tendency to chase that cozy warm shower, run from the ice, that kind of mentality. That's what keep up is all about. Continue to watch yourself and strive to live in your highest self, total perfect achievement, project the infinity that exists within you. 30 more seconds is nothing, keep up. Now inhale deeply, hold the breath, lock the molars, and rotate your arms, totally locked out straight, as far back as they'll go, just twist them as far as they'll go and lock it.
Exhale. Inhale again. Got to do three of these, so two more. Inhale deeply, lock in. Rotate your arms back. Hold the posture. You'll feel that pain in your shoulders, your shoulder blades, your elbows. That's a good pain. And exhale all the way out. Last time, inhale deeply. Lock the back molars tight and flex every muscle in the body, tense everything. Exhale and relax. Very good. This is a nine minute meditation. Three minutes each Kriya, each uh, exercise in the Kriya. And it's to, it's to confront the fear part of the brain. So my personal experience of this has been those times when life throws things at you that you just don't expect. It's like every fear we have is designed to be our challenge in life. The things you fear most tend to come to you. And the only thing that matters is how we act or react to it. Going through that pain, especially the example of the gurus and all the saints that have passed, going through it is just part of life. But how you go through it is the gift of this lifestyle. What it gave me was when I was challenged with things that I didn't know how to deal with, they would be dealt with. And my reactivity and neuroses around all that fear, the edge was taken off. It's not like I was dead or numb to it or in a totally aware, totally present with myself and my circumstance, but that edge was taken off. I don't know of any therapy that can help more than this Kriya for me. Uh, and it's only nine minutes. You can take that time. Also, it feels really good after you feel great. That's a benefit too. So the next thing I'd like to do with you just for a few minutes is take these three fingers on the right hand, put them on the wrist of your left hand and just sit in a comfortable meditative posture Find your pulse with your eyes closed. Feel your pulse. And, and sit with your eyes closed and connect with your own rhythm. And every time that pulse goes, mentally recite Satnam. Some people feel like meditation is a big deal, very sophisticated and difficult thing. This was a method that Sujin Sab taught that's really probably both the most basic and the most sophisticated meditation you can do, in my opinion. Watch your mind, mentally recite it with every biorhythm your body delivers through those fingertips.
Continue to breathe and listen to your own rhythm and recite the mantra mentally. And just inhale deeply, hold the breath for just a minute. Exhale and relax. I find this to be an extremely beautiful way to recenter yourself to a practice of Simran, which is the constant remembrance using a mantra to uh to change the frequency of the thought patterns in the mind it's like you have all this insanity that continues to go through the mind and this gives an alternative frequency which is extremely divine and can carry you through almost anything and uh, I find it to be an extremely pleasing way to absorb other kriyas being done and to recenter myself. Feel very privileged to be meditating with all of you. It's wonderful. There's one more meditation I'd like to share that we practiced for a bit, which is um, a method of, of chanting the Mool Mantra. Uh, Yogi Ji taught it. And it's not in any manual or anything like that. We came across it in some video lecture, and I apologize. I don't have it. But we did the method for many years, and it's very blissful. You know, I, as far as I'm concerned, those two meditations, we can finish the class, but we have to fill time, so why not another? Uh, the, the way to do it is very long, drawn out, recitation, no tension in the body. <clears throat> and if you do it properly, three recitations of the Mool Mantra takes about 11 minutes. So that's what we'll try and do. Um, if you don't know the mantra, don't worry. If you need to look it up, that's fine. Um, and if you want to just sit and listen, that's also fine. If you're driving your car and you just really wanted to have some Sangat today. So you signed on, that's totally fine. There's no good and bad here. It's just Sangat getting together to celebrate the example of the gurus before us and to be together and enjoy. Sorry, I have a visitor. Say hi. <laughs> We're doing a meditation, you wanna join us? Okay. Uh, so just sitting up straight, the Mool Mantar is Ekonkar Satnam Karta Purk Nirpahu Nirvair Akal Murat Ajuni Sepang Gur Prasad Jap Ad Sach Jugad Sach Happy Sach Nanak Hosi Bhi Sach. I'll demonstrate one time how we're going to do it. For those of you who have come to Kambiri Piri, I believe we've done this before. So you guys know, you guys can teach it, but it's my turn today, so I'll share. And uh, if you haven't heard it, just listen and do your best. There's no, like this whole rigidity oh. around right, wrong, the path is the path is your own life and destiny and how it draws you. And if you're lucky, you meet a spiritual teacher. If you're really lucky, you have a relationship with the guru. And if you're really lucky, really, really lucky, you get to come to camp, Midi Pity. So, okay. Sitting straight, you're going to uh, the Mool Mantar. And if you get lost, don't worry. I'll lead it. But this is how it goes. I, I like to sit in Gyan Mudra. He didn't give a specified posture. But sitting straight in a meditative posture, looking at the third eye. So it goes like this. E Oh, 
That's one recitation. We'll do three. So please recite with me. Doesn't have to be perfect. Come along if you like. Just listen if you like. Keep eating popcorn if you like. It doesn't matter. But this is what we're going to do together. Okay? Inhale to begin. Oh. Uh, 
research eko Exhale and just sit in a relaxed posture and meditate for just a few minutes. Keep your eyes closed. Enjoy the sensations. If you really want to feel in every fiber the Mool Mantra, if you want to taste all the 108 sounds that are hidden in there, if you want to vibrate that sound to the fullest, I don't know a better method. Just three recitations will totally space you out, give you a sense of ecstasy, 
It's wonderful, wonderful meditation to do. But you got to pick your pleasure, which kriyas are you going to do, which meditation, which lifestyle, which practice, how are you going to represent yourself to the world? All a choice. And please relax. And thank you all for having me. It's always a privilege to be able to be in the company. Such wonderful people.